What's up, it's Marco, Sage of Soccer, and today I want to talk about Cameron Carter-Vickers, because I've been recently been leaning towards him being a starter in the national team, which isn't something I thought I'd say, like, at the start of this year or in a while, but, man, he's been playing very well at Celtic for a very long time. He's in the Champions League now, and I'm looking around the rest of this national team, and I really feel like he could be a starter. So something you could say is he's playing in Scotland every single week, and that's not exactly the highest level of play, but... I keep looking at how he's playing, and he's at Celtic, a very high-level team in Scotland, and I'm looking at his opposition, and I think that he's playing about the level of that Welsh team. Like, he'll be playing players that you'd expect to see at the level of in that Wales team, and that Wales game, like, that seems like it's going to be our make-or-break game. Like, that's the rubber game. Like, we'll try to get points off of England. I think we're the favorites going into that Iran game, but the Welsh game is going to be very important for us. And I think Cameron Carter-Vickers' style of play really matches up well against them. He's got some quickness that uh, Tim Ream and Walker Zerman doesn't have. I think he's competent enough on the ball. He's good in the air. I think he has everything that we want in a player that would serve us well in a game against uh, that Welsh side. And I'm just looking around the rest of our center backs. John Brooks, this is going to be the first window in a long, maybe ever, that I think he shouldn't be called up. He's not playing at the moment. Like... As good as he is, I still believe he's our second most talented center back behind Chris Richards, but he's he's not playing. And when we have Mark McKenzie, who's hitting good form, Eric Palmer-Brown, James Sands, he's going to be a Champions League center back now. A Walker Zerman can provide us a bare minimum level of play. Like, And Tim Ream's a starter in the Premier League now, and I don't think that makes him in the team automatically. Like, There's a reason why nobody was calling for Timothy Chandler. <laughs> And, like, we were calling for Joe Scally because he's a good player, not because he's a starter in the Bundesliga. Okay, there's a difference there. Uh, if you want to bring Tim Ream in instead of, like, Yedlin as that veteran player, like, okay, that I'll listen to that, but he shouldn't be starting. It was always weird that he got excluded from the national team, but I only point out that it was weird. I never point out that it was a bad thing. So I wouldn't have Tim Ream. I wouldn't have John Brooks at this point. I think... Walker Zerman, he's fine, but I'm, I worry about him against Kiefer Moore. I worry about him against Brennan Johnson. I worry about him against Daniel James, and I think Cameron Carter Vickers fares better against those three. And it's not even getting into the England squad, and Gareth Bale, but Gareth Bale, he's Gareth Bale's like impossible to talk about because he's, he's in the MLS for the money. He's not really trying. I'm pretty sure he's making sure he avoids injury. They're not even being subtle that he's doing load management right now, like. We're, we're just going to have to see how good Bale is once the games come, because we cannot gauge that. So yeah, I'm looking around the squad, and I do think in a back two, which looks like what we're going to be going with, which I think we should be going with, I think Cameron Carter-Vickers is the best partner for Chris Richards. And that's a real monument to how far Cameron Carter-Vickers has come. I remember pointing out how good of a season he was having at, a, I think it was Bournemouth two years ago, I was really liking him at Luton Town. He really came in and helped turn around that team when they were looking like they were going to get relegated from the championship. He came in and provided some stability for them. And he helped Bournemouth push for promotion. He helped Scotland win the league title. He looks like the best defender in Scotland since Virgil van Dijk. Not saying he will become Virgil van Dijk, but it's still impressive. And I keep watching him, keep getting more and more impressed by him, and I'm thinking that this could be a thing. I don't know. I think he pairs well with Chris Richards. I like to see he would he be on the left or right hand side? I'm not sure. You'd probably want Richards on the ball. Richards is better on the ball, so you might want to put him on his natural side, but which is pretty two footed. Not exactly like perfect, but he's good with his left foot, so you might want him on the left hand side. If Carter Vickers is on the left hand side and he's getting covered by Robinson, like that's really good, but either way, I would really like to see Cameron Carter Vickers giving a start next to Chris Richards. I think he's earned that after some amazing seasons in Scotland, and it could be really fun. And yeah, that's all I've talked about right now. I'll see you.